hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show demo about creating custom loader control using dotnet mavi application so here i just created a new dotnet mavi project so let me add loader control so before adding loader control so i am just going to create loader control like this like uh, in loader control there was one activity indicator and one label so let me rerun the app Okay, so if you see here loader is uh, running and uh, here one text is displaying. So on each and every page like we need to like uh, to display loader we need to modify and we need to rewrite this code every time. So I am just going to create a custom control that has an activity indicator and the label. So let us uh, create the custom control for loading. So here I am just going to add one custom controls folder and in that I will add content view of .NET Mavi ok so I am just uh, going to use take layout and here in code behind also I will set base class as a state layout so first here I am just going to use activity indicator and this activity indicator color property so that I will create a bindable property and I will bind it from the code behind so here activity indicator and another property label so the label tags also i will add from the bindable property okay so here in code behind loader control.jml.cs i am just going to create first uh, activity indicator related bindable property so for creating bindable property you can use bindable property and the property name so first i am ju just going to use here activity indicator color so for that i am just going to create in the cater color property so bindable property dot create so here you need to specify property name return type declaring type and the default value so let's add one by one so property name will be so i'm just going to create one property of color type just let me and this will be this indicator property name will become here
so that bindable property name will be this one indicator color so that I can access uh, wherever I want to use another property is written type so this property we created indica indicator color is the type of color so here I'm just going to specify this property is the type of color and that default value I'm just going to set right now default as a color dot light blue and the binding mode I am just going to set as a one way Okay, so here I am just uh, missing declaring type so this will be the type of loader control okay so now this indicator color property is ready so this property I am just going to use here in loader control so color is equal to here I will set this reference like this activity indicator reference to stick layout class I mean loader control class and that so let me set binding source will be this uh, loader control and that part will be the this one indicator color okay now similarly I am just going to create uh, another property loader text Okay, let me rename it to loading tax and this will be the type of string because we are going to bind this loading tax to label and this return type will be string and default value I am just going to set as a please wait okay now this loading text I am just going to bind it here okay now let's add this loader control on main page so this is uh, like I added stake layout activity indicator so I am just going to remove this now instead of this I am just going to use this loader control so let me access so I'm just I'm just going to add namespace for it okay here I can now specify loading text so default text we added as a here please wait so right now I'm not going to add any text and any activity indicator color now let's run the application and let's see like by default it's going to display please wait text and uh, color will be light blue
okay so now activity indicator color is right now light blue and default x is please wait now let me add another loader control bit custom tax so here i'm just going to add loading tax as a loading and indicator color will be the red okay so if you see here that the indicator color is changed and for loading tax i think i need to rerun the application so let me rerun so we will see this loading tax Okay, so here loading tax property is not changing. So let me see here. Okay, so here I did mistake. I I am just setting here loading tax property as an indicator color. That's why it's not changing. So let me just set is as a loading tax. Now let me rerun the app. So now it should work. Okay, so now it's uh, displaying loading tax like whatever the tax we specify here in loading control. So now let me add another control. I'm just going to remove this label and all. Okay, so now it's displaying this loading control using like a creating tags and indicator color, whatever the color we specify. Now let me create another property like a loading tags. Uh, like that, I am just going to create loading tags color property. Like if user want to customize color also. So for that here in loader control dot jaml dot cs, I'm just going to create another property called loading tax color property, and that return type will be a type of color. So here also I'm just going to set return type as a color, and this property name will be a loading tax color. So default color I am just going to set as a I think I am just so okay I, I will just set default color to black and whatever the color you just specify that will reflect here so let me just set here loading tax color to red and for this property green okay now this loading tax color property i need to bind in ui right now i just created in code behind so let me bind it to here loading control so for that here tax color will be from this loader control and part will be the this loading tax color okay now let me run the application
okay so now it's displaying default color as a black and here for second loader control i have set as a loading text color to red so it's displaying in red color okay now let me try to change orientation to like uh, horizontal for this property and this one okay now let me rerun the app and let's see like that this loader control displaying in horizontal format Okay, so now if you see here, it's displaying in horizontal also. Uh, let me set just uh, vertical text alignment. Okay, now let me rerun the app. Okay, so now it's displaying loading text in a horizontal format as well as vertical format. Okay, so that's uh, all for today. I hope you like this video.